Hello and welcome to this edition of Counterman Education Center. Today we're going to look into the art of suggestive selling. Yes, it's an art. Done properly, it can make you, the sales professional, look like a hero and get you a customer for life. Done poorly, and it comes off as a cheesy sales pitch. Let's take a look at some good examples of suggested selling. First, you, the counter professional, need to adjust your view of the relationship. You are not the all-knowing technical wizard, and your customer is not some putz who knows nothing. Your role here is to provide knowledge and parts to complete the repair. Maybe they have done a million brake jobs, or maybe this is their first. Either way, they both need the same things. Taking the brake example, is it just disc brakes, or does it include drum brakes? What do they need to complete the repair? Parts, of course, but depending upon the setup, they may need bearings, seals, and grease. If seals are required, a tool to drive the seal in place is needed along with a new cotter key. Drums? Then several tools are required to remove the shoes and the springs. If discs, then how are they going to compress the caliper back in? Speaking of calipers, do they need new calipers? Disc brakes require a special lubricant for slides and contact points on the pads. Even if you're dealing with one of your professional customers, a quick reminder can save another delivery and downtime for them. How are they set for brake cleaner? Everybody uses it, but we're all just a half a can away from being out. Take a simple alternator replacement. Who would put on a new alternator without replacing the belt? Do they check for the idler? Do they have the tool to release the tensioner so that they can even get the alternator off? How will they know if the belt is properly tightened? There are gauges for that. I think you're starting to get the picture. As a counter pro, you know what they may need. Putting yourself into the repair they are about to tackle allows you to suggest and or remind them of what they may need. There is a very fine line between overselling and offering suggestions or reminders. This is a service you can offer that they will appreciate when they realize they have everything they need to complete the repair the first time. Everyone knows how aggravating it is to realize you need to stop and make another trip to the parts store or wait for a delivery to finish the repair. Keep your customers loaded with what they need and they will thank you for the suggestions. Thanks for being with us and have a great day.